Today, we are talking about the causative verbs help, have, make, get, and let. We're going to start with help just because it's the easiest. Everyone probably already knows what it means. When you can't do something by yourself, you need another person to help you. And when we use it as a causative verb, the structure is help someone to do something. The word to is in parentheses because it is optional. You can include it if you want to, but you don't need to include it. So, using that structure, here are some examples. I helped my wife cook dinner. She helped her children do their homework. He helped an old lady to cross the street. Now, let's look at have. The structure that we use is have someone do something. You can see that with this one, we always have the base form of the verb, no to. And we use have when we want someone to do something for us. Basically, we are telling someone or asking someone to do something. Please have her call me back when she returns. That means, when she returns, please tell her to call me back. I had the doctor look at my injury. That means that I asked the doctor to look at my injury. And he did. I'm going to have my children clean the living room. That means that I am going to tell my children to clean the living room. And they are going to do it. You can also have something done. This is basically the same, but we don't say who is doing it. For example, I had my nails done yesterday. That means yesterday I had someone do my nails. Or I have my lawn mowed every two weeks. Every two weeks I have someone come to my house and cut the grass. To make someone do something is very similar, but when we use the word make, it's very clear that they cannot say no. They will have to do it, even if they don't want to do it. And again, you can see that we are using the base form of the verb, no to. The teacher made the students read out loud. Each student had to read out loud, even if they didn't want to. She made her children take piano lessons. Even though they were not interested in piano, they had to take lessons. His parents made him wear a helmet. They told him that he could only ride his bicycle if he wore a helmet. So he didn't have another option. Get someone to do something is used when the other person does not want to do it, but we find a way to make it happen. If you know the word convince, to get someone to do something basically means to convince them to do something. And with this one, you need to include the word to. She got her manager to give her a raise. At first, her manager didn't want to give her a raise, but she explained why it was important, and in the end, he agreed. I get my dog to come inside by giving her a treat. She never wants to come inside, but if I give her a bone or a snack, she will. My son got me to buy him a new bicycle. At first, I didn't want to buy him a new bicycle, but then he told me a few reasons why it was important for him to have one. Those reasons seemed logical to me, so... I decided to buy him one. And we can also get something done. This is basically the same as have something done. However, get something done is a bit less formal, and therefore I use it more often than I use have something done. I got my dinner delivered last night. I ordered my dinner through a delivery service, and someone came and delivered it. She got a new photo taken for her passport. She asked someone to take a photo for her, and they did. To let someone do something basically means you say, yes, you can do that. 
If you know what it means to allow someone to do something, or to give someone permission to do something, that is what it means. And this is another one that never has the word to. My boss lets me work from home three days per week. That means that three days per week, I can decide whether I want to work from home or go into the office. I let my children watch one hour of TV per day. If they want to watch TV, they can, but only for one hour. My friend let me borrow her car. I asked her if I could use it for a few hours, and she said, yes, you can. So yeah, that's how we use the five main causative verbs. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching.